kind of you, you're gonna have to probably hit a thing in your thing to make yeah. it happen. I got it. I got it. Got it. All right. So I'm just scraping seeds yeah. out of a spaghetti squash. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Serena never takes the seeds out of ours. Um, <laughs> you have to eat your spaghetti squash with seeds. Yeah. We got to love it. Oh, uh, man. Uh, so, Anna, a couple of things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know you don't listen to the show. Um, no. But if I you don't. go back to the Saturday show. Uh, I heard it was a good Saturday show. Well, let me tell you all about it. Okay. Um, it, it It's reminiscent of a show you and I did like almost 10 years ago. Okay. I'm going to tell you this girl's story. Uh, we we gave her a name. I gave her your daughter's name. We called her Lucy, which is not a real name. And we used the X, just like we used to do Dr. X. I called her Lucy X. I know who I know. I saw your Instagram story, so I know what you're talking about. Go. Yeah. So the Instagram hey, story is. Hold on. Let me say, I'm salt and peppering the spaghetti squash. I'm going to put it in the oven while Vinny and I talk. Yeah. At 350. Okay, go. And, and how long is it going to be in there for, Anna? Give them that. Until it's soft, 30 minutes, and then I'm going to make the meat mixture, and then I'm going to take everything out and put them back in and make twice-baked spaghetti squash. Got it. Got it. Okay, so that's what she's making. So the raw spaghetti squash without the seeds has gone into an oven at 350, and uh, she's back. All right, so uh, at any rate, I was talking to this woman in a consult, and um, she, she started, you know, she was like, hey, you know, I heard you on micro. This was not that long ago. Now, in my Instagram post, I said 25 pounds. She's actually lost 50 pounds and she's done wow. it in short order. Now, um, she had some baby weight to lose in there, too. Um, but Lucy, who has a degree in, uh, I want to say, um, kinesiology. So her degree and my degree are very similar. I, I, I'm kinesiology and exercise physiology and and I have a degree in nutrition and all that. But, you know, she she's pretty close to that. And she said, you know, she's always felt like a fraud her entire career. You know, she's worked in high schools like me. She was a strength coach as pretty much as I told her, she's basically Vinny with a vagina. You know, she's that kind of woman, but always had somewhat of a weight problem. And then after a second kid really had a weight problem. And now they're living out in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, they became a single income family. So she had to figure out something to do through the internet. And she got hooked up with Noom, you know, the, this crappy company. Noom. Yeah. And by the way, it was, was one of those companies several, maybe six to eight months ago right. that I said, is this real or is this fake? Because at that point, you hadn't heard of Noom. Right. And I read a bunch of them like Zoe. Noom, and those were all real, and they're just like dumb one syllable words because yeah. I guess that they think marketing to women, they think that we're going to be like cool. That yeah. sounds cute. That sounds like a cute name of something to help me lose weight. Yeah. And, and it sounds all official. You know, just like, look, we know the word Google is today, but the first time you heard Google, you were like, is this a joke? What's Google? Yeah. Right. Or, so yeah. 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 Yahoo is like Yahoo. It was a bunch of Yahoos. What are they doing? You know? Right. So, yeah. So this woman, um, she, she heard me on Mike Rowe and she was like, you know what? With all my training and everything, finally, out of everything, she didn't know why. But after years and years of being in a career, she was like, this kind of makes sense. And Mike is saying he's lost weight that way. And Chuck is saying he's lost weight that way. And why oh. not? Is Mike Rowe doing NSNG now? Yeah, he, well, that's why he wanted to have me on because he lost weight going low carb before he met me. And then yeah. they saw the movie and they were like, we got to get this guy on. That, that kind of thing. Yeah. So this woman's out in the middle of nowhere and she goes, why not? She starts doing it and she dropped 50 pounds. Now, in my Instagram post, it says 25. I, I just, I talk to so many people in the morning before I do that post. It's a new thing I'm doing on Instagram, folks. If you want to follow along, I'm giving like a daily inspiration thing. Where, as a matter of fact, here, I, I'll play one of them. You one play of my, one, because they're really I'll, great. I'm glad you're doing them. Yeah, pe people are, are liking that I'm doing this. So I'm going to keep doing them. Um, Here's one that I did the other day, for instance. Staying motivated. It's not easy. 
just talking to a woman. That's why I'm still out walking. I'm doing my consults. I walk and talk at the same time. And uh, she was telling me she runs her own business. She's got two kids. She's got a husband. She's made time to get healthy with her eating. She eats in SNG. She's lost a lot of weight, but she can't get motivated to exercise. And I said, you know what? Do you brush your teeth? She goes, well, of course I do. I said, do you wipe your ass? She says, of course I'll wipe my ass. I said, okay, those two things are habits. Exercise is also a habit. You just have to make it like those other two habits. Okay, folks, that's your motivational tip for today. Stay strong. Okay, so th th those are the things I'm doing on Instagram. But by the way, as I tell everybody, I'm the fitness expert that keeps my shirt on. The rest of them seems, you know, I, you see these guys, you know, hey, I'm a doctor, I have an MD, and I'm in a grocery store, I just happen not to have a shirt on. What the fuck is that? Um, you know, hey, I'm a doctor, I don't have a shirt on, I happen to be lifting a lot of weights. What the fuck is that? You know, all these doctors now walking around going, hey, I'm buff and I'm a doctor. Okay. Um, how about you put a shirt on? Maybe we could take you more seriously. So I'm the guy out there with the shirt on, right? God bless. I, so at any rate, that, you know, I'm talking to that woman, and she's like, I feel like a complete fraud. And she wasn't calling me for any other advice other than to tell me that she's lost 50 pounds. And now she's got to tell these people, because she's paid to do this, the exact wrong information. Right. And she explains it on the podcast. How so it she, works. she's somebody who works with the customers. Yeah. She's just like remember years ago in the early shows Kate. where we had those two women. Who, huh? Her name was Kate, who worked for Weight Watchers. Yeah. We had two of them on there, didn't we? Were and, there two? Kate was fired or she quit Weight Watchers. I can't well, remember. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you Kate's story to remind you because oddly I, I remember these stories. It was back when Anna and I would interview everyone together. It was back when we were in Anna's studio all the time. Yeah. And this woman was an early NS and uh, before we were really popular. And when you work for Weight Watchers, so in other words, the way you get to work for Weight Watchers is you lose a lot of weight and then they go, okay, you can be a coach because you're inspirational, right? So this woman had lost like, somewhere between 80 and 100 pounds, starving yourself, because that's the only way you can lose weight on Weight Watchers. You got to white knuckle it and starve yourself. Yeah. So then you get to become a team leader or whatever they call it, right? Um, so she's doing that. And um, she starts gaining weight. She and it was her and another woman. And if you start gaining too much weight, Weight Watchers kicks you out of your job. That's right. You're gone. It's like, hey, you're not doing well anymore. So you're gone. Right? right? Well, this woman's got kids and everything. She can't lose her job with Weight Watchers. So she's desperate. And she is trying everything and nothing is working anymore. She happens upon me and Anna, or shall, shall I say Anna and me. And she goes, Okay, I need to give this a shot. So not only did she start losing the 20 pounds she, she had gained, but she kept losing weight and she was getting down to a weight she had never been before. And she was doing all of this just by doing NSNG, except for the fact when she went to work, she had to tell these people, follow the points, you can eat all the brownies you want as long as you're within the points and you can have ice cream, it's all in the points. Just, you know, keep locales, stay in the points. And she saw the desperation on mostly women. That's what goes to Weight Watchers, but yeah, men too. She would see the desperation on these people's faces. And she couldn't take lying to them anymore. She, she just couldn't do it. Right. And um, so that, that was the beginning of that. You know, she just said, I, I, I can't lie anymore. And, right. um, and, and the same thing hap is happening with this woman, Lucy X. You know, she can't lie anymore. Right. Um, I'm writing a note down here. Um, okay, I have something to bring up during the show. Um, so if you want to go back and hear this whole story, and we talk about other stuff, you know, for a Saturday show, I kept her on for about an hour. Uh, she was very interesting. And um, we talk about all of that in the second half of the show. So if you guys want to check that out, um, 
Go ahead and check it out. Now, Anna, I see some white stuff in the pan with your meat. What, what do you have there? I had half a leftover onion. So I figured I would cut <clears> it up <throat> put it in the pan for a little bit of extra flavor. Now, if I was going to use the puttanesca, I probably wouldn't do that because that has onion in it. Um, but I want to flavor this. I'm just putting some grass fed beef in here. I'm going to throw some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Like I always use those for my flavor starters. And uh, then I'm going to pour a jar of sauce on here, probably just plain marinara. Yeah. And get it going. And then uh, I'm going to then set that aside because I'm just going to eat that for my dinner. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use the rest to make the twice baked spaghetti squashes because I just want to show folks how you can make something easy that's kind of fun and like people tell me they miss baked potatoes this is something that you can do that you won't miss it because it'll have lots of cheese I'm going to put yeah. ricotta I'm going to put mozzarella and uh yeah so that's where I am now you know I banked a little video today of um I'm going to put out in a couple of weeks probably um I banked it uh, of I used your taco sauce. So it, I, I didn't get to have okay. breakfast. I was really busy. So I just had some uh, coffee with a little heavy cream in it. And so now it was about midday. And uh, I, I knew I was going to the gym later on in the afternoon. And, and I had done some aerobics in the morning, too. So it's like, man, it's time to eat. So I had maybe three quarters of a pound, maybe 14 ounces of ground beef in the pan. Yeah, this and is a pound I, right here. And it was kind of unplanned. I went, what am I going to do with this? You know, how, what, what am I going to do? And I see the Anna taco sauce there. So, you know, the, the powder. So the dust, I opened it up and I sprinkled a bunch of the dust on there. Of course, you know me, I got to add some extra salt. So I threw some salt in there, crushed a little salt in there. And um, while that was simmering up, um, I, I went, you know what? I'm gonna get a little cheese. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grate a little cheese on this plate, lay it out. I, like I looked really over. Oh, yeah. there, there's an avocado. There's a whole avocado there. I was like, who cares? Who's looking? Serena's out of town. I'm gonna have this whole avocado. So I put that on there, and then I, I took a tomato and I chopped it up. You know, crushed tomatoes. I made my my in plate taco that I like to make. It was just like one big plate of taco without the shell, and. Let's see. It's now, uh, let's call it almost nine o'clock in the evening. Yeah. The only, I went to the gym, did, did a hard workout. I don't know if you could tell, and I'm, I'm extra buff today. You, you are extra buff, and I just feel like I, yeah. I'm, I'm getting like ripped, kind of like just muscle. Yeah, you could feel the, you could feel the, the testosterone yeah. coming. You, you could feel the toxic masculinity coming mm -hmm. right off of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I did that. I went to the gym. Tallulah is having a party here at the house tonight. Uh, they're upstairs. They're out in the yard. She, I don't know how this works, but she invited 18 or 20 of her friends over. And I'm like, if I really had to push it and, and just had my friends over right now, I could probably get Joy shot, but he lives an hour and 20 minutes away. Dave the kayaker. I can get Dave. To, yeah, I was the other person. I could get Dolak over. Cody Cod would have to take the train down. No, no, that, that's done. I got two people. Two. If, if I wanted to throw a party, congratulations, you have two friends, <laughs> and they both kayak. So you know that that's all I got. That that's all I got. You know, uh, maybe I can like pay someone to come over. There's a guy that's on the corner begging for money. I'm sure if I gave him a, a fifty, he'll come over. Probably less if I told, told him I was feeding, feeding him. Um, so I don't know how that works. Anna, you just added some sauce there. Where'd you put it marinara on here? And I just wanted to say, when you said you were making your stuff, my my travel secret, which I mm -hmm. stayed at SNG pretty easily, my travel secret was to order bacon, eggs, and sausage, because everywhere they only give you mm -hmm. two pieces of bacon and two little pieces of sausage, and always get a side of avocado. Because then you just no. know you're going to get full, and if you you know all else fails. Now I was at the fancy food show, which is a little different than Expo West because it's a specialty food association. So it's supposed to be for like high-end fancy brands. Right. You know, specialty olive oils, jams, sauces, cheeses. They had a whole cheese pavilion. It was incredible. I put a picture, um, somebody from Italy brought an entire, I'm not kidding, a wall 
of um, floor to ceiling with 30 foot ceilings of Parmesan wheels this big around. Oh. So like the cheese pavilion was amazing. Uh, Italy, the whole country was a sponsor. So they had a huge pavilion and we were downstairs with the emerging brands. And so there really wasn't too much of like the keto. There was enough on, I bought a product here to show you. I poured about two thirds of a jar of marinara in here. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to then put some of this aside for my dinner and then I'm going to continue making the the thing. But so when I was traveling, you know, we, our flight, our outbound flight was, we wound up not getting to our place that we're staying until four, four 30 in the morning. Right. And, um, and that was because JetBlue put too many people and too much fuel on the outbound flight that le- left from Burbank that they couldn't get off the ground. So they had to take fuel off the plane. Then we could get off the ground. Then we had to land in Kansas city to put more fuel on the plane so we could make it to New York. It was just one of those things. And I was just lucky that we got there. We were just happy we got there because that was the was this plane like the spruce goose trying to get off the ground, that, that type of thing. Well, what happened was um, the weather went up in Burbank. The temperature went up. And if you, as you probably know, Vinny, when you have high heat and low humidity, you can't get lift to get off the ground. Right. right. And, um, and it was just, the thing that was mind boggling to me was like, you knew who many, how many people were registered for this flight. Right. And the thing, and that, you know, so we, we sat on the tarmac for many, many hours and it, and then we went back and then they let us off to go get something to eat, which by the way, then I'm running into Burbank airport going, I know that I am not going to eat. Explain Burbank. Burbank airport is so small that there's nothing. Every time I've been in Burbank, the convenience of it is great because it's tiny and, you, you know, you get a flight out of that. But there's nothing to eat in Burbank. There's no, not there even a good one, cup of coffee. There was nothing. one burger stand. And we when they said, y'all get off the plane, take 20 minutes, go get something to eat. I ran and Lauren goes, go get in line to the burger place. And sure yeah. enough, we were the first one of like 100 people in line and, and got, you know, a lettuce wrap bacon burger with no toppings and uh, a side of avocado. I'm telling you, I get a side of avocado everywhere I go just to make sure that I get full. Yeah. And that, and then I didn't eat again for 18, which isn't crazy, but like, you know, I knew that like I was eating at two in the afternoon and then I wouldn't eat again until 10 a.m., 11 a.m. or noon the next day because we had right. to go speak to the fancy food show and set up. So you know, it's one of those things too. And we're at the mercy of the airlines. Like, like when we go to KetoCon, they changed our flight that we land at 10 PM. And I'm like, I hope they don't cancel it. I hope we get there. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're like at their mercy and um, which you're not, cause you're smart and you're driving. I'm driving. Yeah. You, know, you know, people go, Oh, you're going to be on the road for two days. And I'm like, I, I, you no. know, I, I that's going to be the world's biggest massage. It's going to be great. Cause you're going to have thinking time. I love thinking time. I do love being in the air because that's my thinking time. I love thinking time. Cause I get more done in thinking time. Um, so anyway, so I always, you know, hedge that kind of stuff. And then when I was in Burbank airport, I was like, let me grab something for the plane. So I just grabbed this beef jerky thing. Right. All and it right. says sea salt original. Right. And I was like, right. Oh, and I thought I recognized this brand because I thought I had bought it before. Because now, I do get ready to laugh because I know what you're going to read on the back. Because at one point, there was a bunch of that over at Corolla's, and they asked me, What do you think? And I turned it over and read it. Can you turn that one over? So, wait, yeah, Anna, let's talk about it. Wait, I should on. have read it before I purchased it because Lord only knows how much it cost. And I just paid for it and, gra- and ran back to the plane and, and got right. this bottle of water. So, this says Crave oven roasted sea salt original made with 100% grass fed beef. Sounds pretty great, right? So far. Oh, wait, wait. Does it say anything about keto or low carb or anything on the front? Do they do what any is of that? Protein, eight grams per serving. Life is better beefy. Taking sea salt seriously. Spill the beef. Like cute little phrases. Gluten free. Which, by the way, actually, I look for gluten free too because a lot of these things use soy sauce that have gluten. So I can't. Got eat it. it. Got it. Okay. So, did not turn it over and read it until I got on the plane. 
And I was like, oh, this will be a yummy snack. Ingredients, grass-fed beef. All right, we're doing pretty good so far. Yeah, so far, the first ingredient, beef. That's good since it's a beef jerky. Second ingredient, cane sugar. What? Yep. And, 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 and if you give a shit about the carb count, which I don't really, but the carb count for one serving. So this bag has is is um 2.5 servings which i'll be honest with you i could eat that in about two servings yeah that, that's less than a serving for you it's less than a serving i yeah. would i i could split this into two servings how nine many grams, away, how many nine grams of carbs added sugars nine grams so it's all sugar well it's just meat coated sugar so i was like well that's out and i'm of the opinion if i'm gonna have sugar i'm not gonna have meat coated sugar i'm gonna have some delicious thing that I've either made myself or I know is like the best gluten-free bakery in New York city. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to waste it on some dumb thing like this. And uh, there, there was a company I wanted to advertise on this show at one time and uh -huh. willing to pay a lot of money before you go into those products. Yeah. And it was a beef jerky company. And uh, I said, okay, uh, send me the product. And they reassured me, Oh, this is low carb. This is the good stuff and the whole thing. I opened up the first packet. I didn't even read the back. So let me just taste it. I'm going to taste it. If I don't like it, there's no reason to even read the back. And you know, because I don't yeah. take advertising dollars for the show just just because right. Right. I, I could have sworn that they dipped the first one in honey. <laughs> they probably did. So I went, okay, I, I threw that one aside. I went to the second one, opened it up, didn't read the back, didn't do anything. The second one literally tastes like they took a piece of beef jerky and use it to scoop icing off of a vanilla cake. <laughs> I, I, I was like, it's like, am I so not used to sugar that this is is overboard? So I handed it to Serena, I said, Serena, take a very small taste of this. Do not take a big chunk. And she was like, oh my God, what did you do? She, she looked at me and she goes, what did you do to this? I you went, All I did was open the package. I, I'm telling you, she goes, this is revolting. It's, it's revolting the amount of sugar they're putting on meat in order to capture an audience of meat eaters. It's well, listen to this. So we went to this one lady's booth and she's from Croatia and they have a really lovely truffle farm in Croatia. And so she was sampling and I was like, rrr, rrr. they yeah. had the truffle salami, the truffle cheeses. They had sweets too, but I didn't, but they had so much savory stuff with truffles, the oils and all the things that were so good, fresh, beautiful truffles, you know? White, and, black, uh, what kind of truffles? Black truffles. Yeah. And, um, and she basically said, she goes, cause they're trying to break into the American market. So it was a lot of, there was a Tunisian, Turkey, uh, Greece, an African pavilion. Like there are all these countries and even continents that had their own pavilions. It was a very international right. flavored show. And so it was funny, the sentiment that I got from the foreigners were all told, if you want to break into the American market, you have to add sugar to all of your products. Crazy, right? Right. So, so Croatia lady says, and then every single, there were, you know, people from Estonia, people from uh, Lithuania and I talked to like so many people from other places who were like, oh, your stuff doesn't have sugar because all American food has sugar in it. And we got the same thing when we were at from people that came by to look at our ultra fat at the, you know, the big food expo that we went to Expo West. Right. Which I think is bigger. Isn't it bigger than it's bigger? It's bigger because I was overwhelmed by the fancy food show, but yeah. Expo West is like twice the size of that. Yeah, Expo West is no joke. And people were coming by from all over the world going, so there's no there's no sugar in that, zero. And th then they start looking at us cross-eyed. It's like, how are you sneaking? So it's like, no, taste it. There's my dinner. That, that looks I'm good. I'm not going to put cheese on it because I'm not doing That cheese. looks so damn good. Um, but everybody was confused by the fact that there was no sugar in our product. And they couldn't believe that we were leading off saying this is high fat. People from other countries were going, wait, you're saying that there's fat in the product. Don't you want to hide that? Because right. they're told that if you want to get in this market yep. in America, you have to say low fat, no fat, you know, all this kind of crap, right? 
low calorie look and they're going wait a minute you guys are going the opposite direction are you insane and by the way we have a ton of interest in my product our biggest problem is we can't keep up with our own demand right. and by the way folks oh I, I should probably tell you this um we've gotten way ahead we're way ahead we we have a lot in surplus so we're offering a a discount on at nsngfoods.com on the ultra fat go right now 20 percent off by putting in promo code summer s-u-m-m-e-r summer in promo code summer uh you get 20 percent off between today monday and july 4th it's our uh welcome to uh summer sale and um you know, and it's also really to thank everyone who had to wait while we caught up and everything else. And we're, we're overly caught up. Um, we're way ahead of the game, we put in more equipment to make more product. Um, we're going to start putting that product on Amazon again, and everywhere else. But right now, if you want to save a ton of money, go to nsngfoods.com, the famous ultra fat that companies all over the United States is clamoring for to get it into their grocery stores. Um, you could get that stuff at 20% off. Uh, so I would tell you to stock up. Uh, of course, we can't do that 30% off deal that we did, you know, the hey, we welcome back campaign, because we literally was losing money on every one of those. But we did it because we felt so bad that so many people had to wait so long that we we said, hey, here, here's just to get you guys back in the house. Um, this is our thank you for waiting. Um, so now we're doing 20% off. Uh, we can't cut it to the quick any more than that. And promo code summer, nsngfoods.com, S U M M E R. No one be That's amazing that you can do a discount code because we we can't, we can rarely ever do discount codes. So that's great that you're doing that. And you guys should take advantage of that. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing it. And um, hope, hope, hopefully everyone will uh, appreciate it because look, we've been through the ringer. With all of our companies, you know, we had the big supply chain problem at purevitaminclub.com. We had some supply chain issues at uh, NSNG Foods, and then we had a machine breakdown, uh, and that put us way behind. Um, so we 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 had issues, and this has been a rough year. I'm just going to be honest; it's been yeah. a rough year. Um, but you know, we we've been weathering the storm, and here we are. Here we are. You know, it is it is interesting because. We had a lot of interest, especially in the pumpkin marinara, which you guys know because you guys made oh, yeah. us sell out in a very short amount of time last year. Um, so we we made some pumpkin to send us samples to the grocery stores. And in fact, well, I don't want to say it again. Um, but it, the, the biggest thing with the buyers is, is bringing the price down. And I get that. Trust me, I want to bring the price down. But we, we're not there with our scale yet. So it's an interesting conversation to be like, well, if you want organically sourced high quality foods right now, this is what it costs. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, it is, it's an interesting thing. And of course I want it to be more affordable. We'll get there. But um, I also feel in a way, even though I hate that it's happening, I feel better that I see other places have to raise their prices because I'm like, yeah, I don't see how you're affording to make your thing. Like, cause right. things have gone up, but anyway. Yeah, th things are going to get crazy. I think in the next six or eight months when it comes to food, uh, what do you have there, Anna? So Lauren was working the booth and by the way, he'll be at KetoCon too. So he's, um, he'll be our food te taste tester. Cause he goes around all the booths and gets all the free samples. We came home with so many free samples. He'll be crapping his, his pants right off of his body. Stomach of steel, stomach of steel and a four point. I, I, you know what? I, you know what? Screw it. I want to watch him eat all of that stuff. He'll do it. He'll do it. Won't you? Yeah. Will you eat it? I want to watch him eat all that erythritol and monk fruit and all that. And, and is it, come on, but let's, let's you and me just hang out all day. You go to the bathroom. I'm going with you. I want to see how long you can hold. <laughs> it. He doesn't like the erythritol stuff, but that's what it's all going to be. At keto yeah, that's all it is. It's, it's, it's not going to be, um, you know, I will say the fancy food show, there were so many people doing salamis, prosciutto, like there was so much, cured meats. It was amazing. And they were sampling it. So I felt like I could get good snacks, but I also drank my own uh, urine. No, I drank my own tomato sauce to, you know what I mean? To fill up because yeah. that's the other thing with, with my crew. I was like, guys, we literally have no money in the budget for, to feed you guys. So everybody go get your samples yeah, <laughs> and yeah. enjoy yourselves. Cause that's what your lunch is going to be. Yeah. Um, we, 
uh, 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 Lauren went around and got a bunch of samples and this is one of them. And I was like, I love the packaging. It's great. But of course it has the word keto really. It says, it says keto twice, right? It says low carb keto. Yeah. Not granola, low carb keto. And so it looked like, okay. But then you see zero grams of added sugar, four grams protein, gluten-free, grain-free, GMO-free. Very cool. Now on the back. Wait, before you go to the back, go to the front again, Anna. Mm -hmm. uh, folks, let me give you a thing that will always, always allow you to know that you don't even have to pick it up and read the back. Whenever it says zero grams of added sugar, whenever you see added sugar, no added sugar, you know, if they say one gram of added sugar, zero grams of added, if they say no added sugar, what they're telling you is there's always there's already a shit ton of sugar in the product. All right, go on, Anna. That's the mistake I made when I bought Dave Asprey's uh, coffee drink. It said zero. It said zero. I thought it said zero sugar. So I was like, perfect. This is just going to be coffee. Right. And I'll drive home and life will be good. Wrong. Yeah. So now a lot of a lot of brands. Are, and I'm not throwing this brand out of the bus. People were saying this tastes really good. Fine. That's great. It actually looks like a high quality product, which you're not you're not in the specialty food association and you have a crappy product like people are bringing nice things like there was like a super nice little like pot pie. There was tons of baked goods. There's tons of. Um, oh, this is a weird one. That I thought was really gross. Um, plant based tuna sushi. No, thanks. I think they were um they, they were at our expo too. They, they had a really so good much... booth and great branding. Like they put a lot of money behind their product. And there, there were... was more fish, you know, fake, you know, plant-based fish. And I'm like sitting there going, how can how can this possibly be anything besides fucking horrible? I didn't taste that. Um, and I wasn't going to, but I did taste. There was one that had chicken bites. It was basically like jerky, but it was like chicken jerky bites. Mm -hmm. And but it but the way it was, it was like be kind chicken jerky bites. So I was like, that's definitely like I said, that's plant based. Uh, they, they, they were they were at our expo too. And she and she goes, no, no, they're actual chicken. And I was like, oh well, if you say be kind, you think it's plant based, right? Right? Am I right? I, I thought that chicken, too. But but I think it was be kind something like that. Um, and they were super nice. And again there was stuff in it. So I was like, ah, this is such a bummer because yeah. finding a good jerky without stuff in it is like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So, so anyway, so the, there's the keto granola and I have a granola recipe in my first book and it's basically just nuts and seeds. And then if you want to put uh, glycerin on there to make it stick, you can, but you don't have to, you can just put butter on it. You could put, you know what I mean? Yeah. So this is and this is very typical when they don't have the product quite ready. They'll put like not for retail sale because it doesn't have the uh, it doesn't have the nutritional. If there, it's not right, ready. Yeah. They're just give, doing demos so that buyers get. And this was an in, this was a trade organization. There were no outside people getting free. Right. Sale. It was people, press, business services, buyers, distributors, brokers, manufacturers. Right. Sure. So. But they have to put the ingredients, right? They gave me the sell sheet. Okay. I gave Lauren the sell sheet because Lauren said, "Oh, I got a, I got a keto thing for you to try for the show." He knows what to, he knows what to source yeah. now. So there's six. They have six different flavors. So I'm going to the cinnamon uh, pecan place and read. I'm going to read this to you. Sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut chips, almonds, pecans. Erythritol, mm. butter, water, cinnamon, salt, monk fruit extract. Mm. And I was like, why couldn't you just have all those things except for the two things? Why can't you just make a, a and put cinnamon butter on this? Maybe Serena, I can do that. Look, Serena wants me. You know how I'll take uh, pecans and walnuts and and almonds and I'll put them on a yeah. baking tray on a sheet. I'll just yeah. baking. And I'll take Villa Capelli olive oil. And I'll mm -hmm. literally just put the Villa Capelli on my hands. Yeah. And just go. I'll, I'll massage the nuts. Yep. And I just get a little coat from my hands. If I need a little more in my hands, I'll put a little more in my hands. And I'll just massage the nuts with that. And you know what I do when I'm done, Anna? 
I don't wash my hands. No, you. I go like this. Oh, yeah, I do this. I get, my, I I get up, my elbows. Yeah, I go up and down my arms. And, you don't and, want your elbows to be dry. Use and, and, and I'll, 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 I'll through my hair like yeah. that. Yeah. Get yeah. that nice slick look. Yeah, when, when I was a kid, my grandmother used to put um, uh, olive oil in our hair, in our hair. She said it was good for your scalp. And then all the other kids would go, ha ha, greasy dago. You know, <laughs> they were right. I mean, it's it. My grandmother just drinks me in olive oil. I don't know why, but she did. And um, wow, I just remembered something. You know what else she would do? She would take olive oil and put it on a cotton ball. And she would put, and she would clean our ears out. She would just go in our ears and she would look at all the dirt in your ears and just kind of clean out the ears around the back and all that. Because we were always, we were out in the middle of the swamp. So we were always dirty and dusty. And swamp, you know, swamp children. Yeah, she would clean us with olive oil, which is crazy. But at any rate, not crazy. Let me go back to my notes. Hang on. I want to, Anna, hang on. No. Anna. This. What does it ready, say? Ready for any and all low carb diets. Right. Bullshit. Um, with mine, after I put the olive oil on it, I'll take a real fine salt, usually Redmond's, and I'll sprinkle that because they're all spread out on the tray. I'll sprinkle that. And then I'll start taking stuff that I like. Um, I'll take uh, paprika. I'll take uh, cayenne. I'll take uh, maybe black pepper. Uh, I'll take a few things and just mix them together. Now, I haven't tried this yet. My gusts. That's what I was going to say. I haven't tried it yet. But I'm going to try it with your barbecue. I'm going to try it with your um, taco. I'm going to try it with the barbecue and the taco and see what I could come up with. Yeah. I, I People always go, how do you get? Serena's always telling me, why don't you do this? It's like, honey, I can't keep up with the man right now. Mm -hmm. Right? You want me to go do another product? Jesus Christ. In between doing movies and products and on and on and on, why don't you just stick a broom in my ass so I can sweep up when I'm just walking out of the room? You know? All right, so Anna, she, she's pulled the, um, what do you have there, Anna? I got the spaghetti squash out of the oven. I'm not, it's not quite done yet. Well, no, nah, I think it needs five more minutes. All right, give it a little time. You can tell it's done because it kind of, uh, it feels wetter. Yeah. She said. Hey, Anna. Yeah. Everyone's saying we should have called last Monday's show the vagina show. Did we? I don't remember talking about vaginas. What did we talk about? Last Monday's show, the yeah, vagina. And people like they were writing to me on Instagram and, and Twitter going, You guys talked about vagina. And I'm like, We did? I don't, I don't remember. I, I, I don't remember, but I remember we talked about, let, well, I thought it was a letter from the vegan, how he loved Paul McCartney recommending the Beyond Meat. Everyone says I kept using the word vagina. All right. Well, it's huh. just a body part. Yeah, but, you know, I, I remember years ago we did the vagina show. We oh, did I know, I know. It. Oh, I, I'm remembering. Were we talking about the egg? Weren't we talking about the egg? Or was that a different show I did? Might have been a different show you did. I think it might have been a Saturday. I think they're talking about the Saturday show, one of those. I talked about... Oh. Okay. Remember, remember the egg? All these women, they were sticking the, the thing in the vagina with the egg. egg. The jade egg. The jade egg. And they were like lifting weights with it with their vagina. Yeah, they were, it was, her name was Kim Amimami or something. And we were going to try to get her on. She puts the egg in and then she hunkers down and she lifts a surfboard with it. Oh, yeah. She was lifting surfboards. She she would hang like dumbbells off of it. And um we we had a, I, I talked about this on it wasn't you and me we, you know there was a sash, we I had a sash. a sash. You have it. Yeah. Are you are you looking for it? Yeah. Oh, you see, I told whoever I was talking to, I can't remember which show it was, but I was talking about the sash, and I said we wanted to crown someone Miss Vagina, and we had a sash made. Look, folks, you got to go look at this. And what does the sash say there, Anna? NSNG strongest vagina. And yeah. Look, and look at, oh, it came apart, but it has like, I think you do it, wait, you do it like this. Yeah. And a fan made that for us. Situation. And, yeah. and whoever wins gets to stand and do like a, one of these things. Yeah. By the way, audience, my zipper is messed up. It's not down, it's just messed up. So, Anna, I, you know, I was telling whoever but I was. Hold talking on. And then we, and then, and then, 
And then we had these made. Remember, what's her name made these for us? Who does the pageant stuff? Yeah, yeah. She she actually makes these for beauty pageants. These for you and me. Yeah. What so does that one say? This is just like a church. It's just like Ms. NSNG, and yours is Mr. Mr. NSNG. Why? So is that great piece of keto con for us to wear? Bring the strong vagina one. Maybe we can crown someone there. I don't think. Hey Kurt, we can't stick the Jane. Audience for strong vaginas. You know what? We we could get we could get Kurt and uh, the guy from Texas. That's, that's mine. That's my dinner. Make us. Hey, wait. We could get. Walk Kurt. over just eats my dinner. What a bastard! <laughs> what a bastard! Anna. Yeah. We could get Kurt and the guy from Texas. What's his name? Bob Zimmer. Bob Zimmer. We can get them to stick the jade egg up their ass and see who's got the strongest ass. Perfect. And crown one of those. Yeah, I I feel like that would be that would be good, Kurt Kurt versus Bob. Str I love, love that she made Bob. that 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 sash out of black, like it's all written in black. Listen, I have want to see this for ten years, and we haven't used them yet. These have moved house with me. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of them. They're a keepsake. One day we'll be dead. And no one will care and someone will get these and be like, what the fuck? I'll be dead and someone will rummage through my stuff, probably Lucy. Yeah. She'll be like, good God. What, what were they doing? What were they doing? <laughs> what the hell were they doing? Yeah. Um, yeah. That was fun. I got to figure out which show that was. Was it a Friday show? I I wonder, know. You know what? It might have been the one with, uh, I did one with uh, Lois. I wonder if it yeah. was that show. Um, okay, I'm going to take out this spaghetti squash. And then that was basically pretty much it. You know, just the whole the whole traveling thing is just Oh, I, when we came back, that was the weekend yeah. they canceled 4000 flights. And so we were lucky that ours was not canceled. And we, we got home and I have never been so happy to just be home. And then we're going to go back out to KetoCon. I know you guys are coming to KetoCon. Get your tickets. Use the discount code Vinny, V I N N I E. You'll get 50 bucks off the weekend pass. We're only going to be there on Friday. So make sure y'all get there on Friday. I'm going to cook yeah. the chicken parm. Vinny's going to give a speech. Slash, are you showing some of your movie? I, I might show 10 minutes of the movie because they they asked me to. So I'm going to see if I can. Cool. 10 or 15 minutes of the movie for people I haven't seen it. And it, it might whet their appetite to go see the movie. And uh, and then I'm going to do a little talky talk and then we're going to have a breakout room and I'm going straight from the breakout room to my car. Yeah. I have to be in El Paso that night. So, and everybody hashtag carbs play best costume is going to win an entire array of all of our products, but I'm also bringing some three packs of the spices to give out as like some, for some other cost, you know what I mean? Like I want to have some judgment happening with the costumes. So Dress up like Vinny on the Oprah show. Yeah. Dress up like, um, a, I don't know, like a strip of bacon. Wear, wear a conch shell. Wear a conch shell. I know that Bob Zimmer is going to be the shirtless chef. Yeah. Um, wear an Eat Happy Kitchen thing. I don't care. But dress up. Hashtag carbs play. Let's, let's dominate the first day of KetoCon and make it fun. Um, let me take out the spaghetti squash. Uh, Anna, I, I want to talk while you're doing that. I want to talk about um, a guy I spoke to today. You know, I do these consults every day. Yeah. And this guy, he signed, I don't know if he signed up for a half an hour, an hour, whatever he signed up for. I went over, you know, he was the last call of the morning. Yeah. I had a little time behind him. I was still walking and I was really enjoying my conversation. Let's call him Michael because that was his name. And Michael is my age. It's kind of like Cotty Cod. He might be the new Cotty Cod. Yeah, uh, he's my age, and we, we really got on. And his whole conversation, you know, he's in pretty good shape. He works out. He does all the stuff. He does an S and G. He follows along, and he figured out at some point that I had cancer. Right? I can't remember how he figured that part. Maybe he read the book. Or whatever. Um, I don't know. I don't know how he came on to the cancer, but we had very very similar cancers. And he goes, so you're not on any kind of ongoing chemo. I said, no, they told me, you know, mine was in remission, which means it's not completely gone, but it's gone enough to where, you know, they, they knocked it back. And they told me, you, you know, the story, he told me it would be back four or five right. years. 
And he goes, yeah, they told me the same thing, except they put me on this very expensive daily pill. I take this chemo pill oh. and it just keeps it down. And this, this chemo pill, he goes, thank God I have really good insurance. He goes, it costs $15,000 a month to take this pill. And I think his insurance what? pays for most of it. Yeah. Lord. I, I think he's got to pay some of it. He, and and he said, you know, I, it's not just the money. It's I'm on this this chemical all the time. And he said, how do you get away without doing that? And I said, look, I've been very strict. You know, that's why I started doing NSNG so strictly. And they told me that, you know, five, you know, five years, if I go six, consider that a big win. But they right. said for the rest of your life, you're going to be on chemo. I've been cancer free folks since 2008. They told me in February 2008 that I was cancer free and I had a four or five year run before I'll need chemo again. It is now midway through 2022. So let's call that what? How many years is that? Uh, 12 years? Oh, 14. 14 years? 14 years, right? That, that sounds about right. Yeah, 14 years of no cancer. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Excuse me. That's incredible. And nobody is, is asking me, wait a minute. How, what are you doing? Well, have you been back on chemo? Because no one keeps track of this stuff. Right. But and he even asked me, he goes, do, do you even go in for cancer? It's like, yeah, once a year, I got to get my blood checked. And he goes, when was the last time you had a bone marrow biopsy? I said, it's been years because they checked my blood and it's all up to snuff. Everything right. is great. There's no reason to check any further. What are they looking for like white blood cell count or like are there? there, there yeah, there's a bunch of numbers. Yeah, I don't want to get into the weeds with it, but there's a bunch of numbers that when they go wacky, they'll go, okay, now it's time we look deeper. But my blood looks younger now than when I was young. Right. I to these doctors. And he goes, Well, do you ever have anything sweet? I mean, yeah, I told him about my Kristen Scott Thomas rule. You know, I told him about. Uh, you know, sometimes I might have a, a square of chocolate, but it never knocks me out of ketosis. Right. Or I might have a, a, a handful of berries in season with heavy whipping cream that I whip up myself from scratch with no sugar. Right. And um, I enjoy life. But what I really do enjoy is not having cancer. It, yeah. it, it's a simple, you know, look, in life, folks, sometimes you got to man up. You can't have your, your, your snake. You can't have your steak and eat it, too. Or your cake? What is it? You can't cake. cake. Yeah. It's Sometimes cake. you just got to man up. Yeah, I get it. I, I I don't get to enjoy stuff the way I would want to. I would have gelato a lot more often if I could. But the bottom line is, I love being cancer free. Yeah. And that's a, that's an easy equation for me, right? Yeah. So you need to think of it that way. There is no really. There is no other way to think of it. So. Um, I didn't I mean to invite that. a deadly form of cancer back into my life. Yeah. So, okay. So here's what I did. I scraped out the center of these spaghetti squash mm -hmm. and I, re I realized halfway through, cause usually I get pretty rough with it and let the skins rip. But I was like, Oh no, the whole point of this is to put things back in and do it twice baked. So I had to be a little more gentle. And honestly, I, if we weren't recording, I would let them cool a little more because it was harder to get stuff out when it's hot. Mm -hmm. And right. now we're just tossing the spaghetti squash with ricotta mozzarella and i might pour in a little more sauce you kind looking of good happening? it's really looking good i just want to eat it out of the pan yeah it's just spaghetti squash is a i want to mix it in with the meat and then i'm gonna put it all back in and mm. then put it in the oven and let it kind of congeal you know with the heat yeah and yeah. put a little extra cheese on the on the front but i spilled half of my ricotta in it which sucks because it's a really nice ricotta um also, it's really easy to make homemade ricotta. I usually do that, but I was lazy and just got back from a trip. Um, the recipe is in my first cookbook. But I just want to show you, you could do this with other flavor profiles, but this is kind of a nice thing to do. Ricotta kind of makes it like smooth and the mozzarella makes it melty and nice. So I'm going to take a spoon and scoop it back in. Boom. See that? It's going to be so nice. pretty. You guys nice. have to watch this on the YouTube. And by the way, super simple. I don't need to type up a recipe for this. Just, I could have also, uh, what's it called? Sauteed some spinach into this. 
Mm -hmm. if you want to get some more veg in there, but I feel like right now, since I'm doing carnivore for two weeks or modified, uh, I'm not, I'm not doing any vegetables. So I, I, I want to talk about that when we, we're recording again tomorrow, right? Yeah, let's talk about tomorrow. See how gorgeous that is. And then I also, if I had it on hand, I would have chopped up some fresh basil and put it in at the end just because right. I love the brightness of fresh basil in the summer too. Happy summer, Vin. Yeah, summer solstice. We're, we're past summer solstice now. So it's, it's really summer. So I removed a little bit from my portion and now I've got two really nice portions here. That's hot. I want to show you. And I'm just going to put it back in at 350 for like 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to melt some cheese on top of there. See that? It's got the marinara, the beef, onion, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, the spaghetti Hi. squash, uh, and then the ricotta cheese. Oh my gosh, so good. You know you're in ketosis when you take a bite of onion and it tastes like a sugar bomb. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah. People always say to me, how does that happen? It's like, I don't know. And just for clarification, I prefer mozzarella that's the whole and not the shredded stuff. But this is what I had left in the fridge from the house that are being here. And I've not had time to go to the store yet. So I'm using that. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna throw that in the oven. Throw in the oven, we'll see. How long does it take for you to put it back and in the oven? I, I, I think, oh my God. <gasps> Ooh, how the did burner, that happen? The burner was on. Wow. Folks, wow. do not do what Anna just did. Wow, I almost burned my house down, you guys. <laughs> I looked at her and went, that's pretty cool. And I was like, no, she didn't mean to do that. That's not a trick. Not a trick. Yeah, no. <laughs> See, I get distracted when I do it on And camera. you want to be my latex salesman. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, that's nice. I know, sorry. Yeah, he, I didn't think those things. I thought they were fire retardant. I didn't realize that that well, could happen. Not, they weren't fire retardant. The whole house would be in flames, and it would be over Zoom. Wow. It's wow. fine, guys. It's fine. Yeah, Nothing well, Anna's okay. Anna's okay. Don't right. worry. She's going to be okay. I'm fine. Um, I don't know. Oh, we're at an hour, so we got to go. All right, so Anna... Um, yeah. Let's talk about Villa Capelli. Um, Villa Capelli, uh, are, are they back this. in stock? I want to show this three liter tin. That's the 10 right there. This is why I tell you guys this is liquid gold. Because yeah. when they sell out, they sell out. I have gotten more tweets, more DMs, more emails mm -hmm. from people saying, what the F is up with Villa Capelli? And I'm like, I don't know. Why don't you ask Villa Capelli? They have only X number of trees and they will not sell olive oil before it's time. So here's the deal. I texted with Stephen today, Stephen Crestfield, the owner of the company. Yeah. And he said, the oil is sitting at customs and he's just praying to the gods of customs that it gets checked in because as soon as it's checked in, it goes to the fulfillment house, which is very close to customs. Yeah. In order to get fulfilled. So I will tell you guys this, go to villacapelli.com, enter your email under all the products that you want to order because you will get the notification when it's back in stock. Obviously we'll announce when it's back in stock too, right. because we want them to start selling. We want him to make money and to make sales. And we want you guys to have your olive oil. It is worth it. It is worth the wait. This I'm showing you guys a three liter tin because I can't stress to you enough how much you need to get the three liter tin. Look, Anna, we all have small companies. And when you have small companies making superior boutique products like Villa Capelli, like Eat Happy Kitchen. When you're out, you're out. That's it. I'm, I'm out of pink crema right now and I hate it, but that's, it is what it is. Yeah. So y'all yeah. get Villa Capelli when you're finally able to shop. Don't forget to use the discount code Vinny, V-I-N-N-I-E. I know, trust me, I know, I know the feeling that Stephen's going through right now. It's like, it's Come like, on, excruciating. cause Every time somebody goes to the website and they can't buy the thing they want, it could be a lost customer for life. And it's like, oh. Yeah, yeah. look, I, you acquisition, it's there. all about it's acquisition there. and you lose that person. And it's like, I lost a loyal customer. And it really, it, it hurts you at your core. 
Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, I, I get it. You guys stick with them. It, it's the best thing. And, so, and this has only happened, I think, two times in 10 years where they run out of stock. So just go to Villa Capelli. When you do get to shop, use the discount code Vinny, V-I-N-N-I-E. You'll get 10% off your order and um, support them. They support us. Absolutely. And, uh, enter your email so you're notified of when it comes back in stock. We're done. We're done. Um, so, folks, uh, go check out everything Anna Vicino is doing. Um, she, I, I cannot, if you've been watching my steak videos, people go, how do you get that nice sear on there? I'll talk about it tomorrow. I'll talk about how I use a wrought iron pan, a, you know, a cast iron pan. Oh, yeah, that's what we're going to talk about, cast yeah, iron. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I have the note okay. here because we're, we're stacking up a couple of shows. So we're taping again tomorrow. Um, yeah. People want to know how I get it on there. I'm using salt and Anna's uh, barbecue dust, which gives it this kind of crazy caramely taste. When, when you when you braise that in sugar, we're going to talk about it tomorrow. Go get Anna's dust because, again, when it's out, it's out. I mean, you yeah, know, true. when you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. You know, Jerry Reed. Um, i got to find that song. Hang on. Um, so uh, go check out everything that Anna Vecino has there. Um, and you know go do that um go do that uh what else you got anna that's it okay for me folks you know what to do we all go shopping on amazon before you go to amazon go to vinnytotteries.com click through the banner it puts coal in the fire gets my train down the track we also have a super fan page go do that it's like pbs you know the way i keep this show free and keep everyone paid is, um, you know, look, there's all these people and they all need to get a check. And it it's the only way I could keep the show running. So thank you guys for that. And it reminded me of so many shows that we got to play a couple of little songs here at the end. We'll start with this one. So on behalf of Anna Vocino, my name is Vinny Tartarich. Put life into living and do it with the hotels. <laughs> <laughs>